This is JP LaForge from Studio JPEG. In this video, I'm going to be presenting this new hydroponic system that I just got. And it's from Project Succeed, which is one of the many wonderful projects by Enactus Memorial. And what Project Succeed did is they teamed up with the engineering team of their university and they designed this system which is made from recyclable materials and it's to help grow hydroponic food. The main target they have is for regions such as mine where it's very di difficult to get fresh vegetables and herbs and all the delicious nutrients during the winter. So this is really perfect for me. Uh, while the supermarkets do have a decent variety, let's say, uh, there's still quite a lot of delicious things we can't get for most of the year. So this is going to be really awesome. And they're going to be also targeting places uh, either islands or places way up north in Canada where they can only get food certain times of the year or they might get one food shipment every two, three, four months, something like that. And they have to make sure that they can survive in between. So that's going to be perfect for those communities also. So the hydroponic system itself, it's a drip system. And basically it's a tote like you would find in pretty much any hardware store. And then a series of pipes. The lamp that my kit uh, came with was the T5HO lamp, which uh, from what I read is really good, uh, high quality lamp, doesn't generate too much heat. And I'm really looking forward to trying this out and I'll be doing more reviews and updates and all that as we go along and I can confirm if uh, how everything works. Inside the kit itself, there came a lot of things. So we have some uh, rock wool here to get us started. So that's uh, what we're going to plant the seedlings in. And then, very important for hydroponics, you have the Flora Series Performance Pack. So this is the nutrients that you're going to feed your plants with. And it seems like a very complete system. It comes with a pH tester and all sorts of other goodies to help with the growing. And this kit only came with one pack of lettuce, but uh, there's plenty of seeds available locally, thankfully. And then you have a timer here, which is very important for running your pumps. And this is the pump here that's going to power the whole unit. So it has some suction cups that you just attach to the side of your unit. And then there's a hole over in the corner there of the tote that you can get your power cable out. And you just connect this to the holes that the unit came with. Then you have your little grow cups here, which uh, it's kind of dark. <laughs> it's kind of black on black here, but... Uh, Basically, they're about this tall, and the diameter is kind of like a red Solo cup. <laughs> and then, uh, they ran out of the typical solutions, so they uh, gave us the some pH down here. And then they gave us some pH up uh, solution too. So basically you just test the solution in the water to make sure that your pH level is correct. And if it's too high or too low, you use the pH up and pH down to balance it out. So that's good. So that's the product that came with the kit. Uh, I'd say it's a very good kit. And from what I've been reading, Lately, uh, it seems to cover almost everything you need. But there are a couple of extras that you will most likely need uh, as you get this thing uh, set up. So the first extra you're probably going to need is something to grow your seedlings in. Uh, you can get a kit like this. So this is to grow 36 different things, uh, which is more than enough because the kit we have uh, came with uh, 12 slots. So. You could use this uh, multiple times, no problem. And this is the very basic level. It's probably better if you have uh, its own uh, 
if you have natural light to grow it with. But there's another kit. So the first one was more around the $7 range and this one is probably more about $30 range. And it has a groove on top that you can put the light directly on it. Or uh, most likely I'll be using a stand and not using the groove here. But it does have holes here for the venting of the humidity and it does help keep the humidity and temperature inside the dome. So that's recommended to help it grow faster. So you're going to use this part just when you have the seed, so the first one to three weeks about. And then you're going to transfer it to the hydroponic system. Next thing up is you're probably going to need seeds. So we're going to try with some parsley, kale, tomatoes, or the little, uh, kind of like a cherry tomato one. And then mini bell peppers, spinach, oregano, thyme, basil, mint, spearmint, and then Italian lettuce. So that's going to be a great starter kit. So I think there's 11 types of seeds. So there's one type that will double up to do our system and I think it's going to give us a good experience with different types of things you can grow. And the last thing is a uh, light stain. So uh, this is the jumpstart light stain. It's basically just to hold the fluorescent light that uh, I showed earlier, the uh, T5HO. And so these are the extras that in totals with the seeds, the dome, and the thing to hold it. And all right, there is also some clay pellets which are recommended. Uh, these ones we got at two dollars per bag, so that's uh, really good too. And basically, the rock wall is not big enough to fill the cups so we're going to use this to hold the rock wall in place and make sure it doesn't start moving around in the machine and these things are reusable you just wash them between every harvest and so we got uh, two different bags of these so if we take the clay pellets the seeds the light stain and the dome uh, that was about I think 130 more than what the kit cost and if you went with the full kit that I showed from Project Succeed that was $350 so as far as hydroponic systems go it's very affordable uh, I know hydroponics in general it's expensive but this uh, can produce probably similar to what a different kit would cost in the $700 easily to $1,000. And you have some kits in the, if you go with the whole systems with the cupboards and all that thing, you can probably easily reach the 10 to $20,000 to get a similar yield to what this should produce. So I am very looking forward to see how the progress will come out of this. Uh, we have plenty of delicious things we'll be planting and experimenting with and I'll keep you posted as we make more progress on this. Thank you very much for watching this video and for all my photography and videography fans uh, don't worry I have more photography content coming up soon. I just wanted to throw this in the mix for now. If you liked the video don't forget to click like, subscribe, or share with a friend. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.